When we think about the biggest land creatures to ever exist, we often imagine massive dinosaurs or something like the Cyclops from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But what if I told you that long after the extinction of dinosaurs, Earth saw the rise of an elephant so massive that it had even managed to rival the prehistoric giants of the Pleistocene. In today's African savanna, elephants weigh up to six tons. But even these giants pale in comparison to the mighty Paleoloxodon nomadicus, an elephant that reigned supreme during the Pleistocene epoch. To put its size into perspective, it weighed more than three fully grown T. rexes combined. This legendary herbivore wielded its four meter long tusks, capable of impaling predators, and a skeletal structure which helped it maul through packs of predators. Today, we'll be diving into how this giant lived, its competition, and how it outgrew even the largest non-sauropod dinosaurs. But first, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future topics we cover in Paleotalk. The Paleoloxodon nomadicus wasn't just big, it was built for extreme bulk. Standing over 5 meters tall at the shoulder and weighing more than 25 tons, its skeletal structure was robust and dense to support its massive body. This allowed it to carry tusks over 4 meters long, weighing at a whopping 120 kilograms, making these record-breaking appendages vital tools for digging, battling, and intimidating rivals or predators. Despite its large size, the Paleoloxodon was far from a mindless giant. Where its large brain case suggests higher intelligence and complex social structures, much like modern elephants, this colossal creature likely exhibited advanced behaviors such as cooperative survival strategies and possibly even mourning their dead. To fuel its colossal body, Paleoloxodon consumed vast amounts of vegetation daily, relying on its broad molars to grind through tough grass and bark. Its immense height granted it access to foliage unreachable by other herbivores, solidifying its role as the ultimate canopy grazer. Yet, its size wasn't just for feeding. It served as a formidable defense. Few predators would dare challenge an adult Paleoloxodon because of its massive trunk. The dexterous and powerful limb was an invaluable tool for uprooting trees or engaging in battles when necessary. Evolution favored such gigantism during the Pleistocene, where open landscapes and competition for resources demanded size for survival. However, this blessing was also a curse. The energy required to sustain such a massive body meant it needed abundant resources and vast territories, making it vulnerable to environmental shifts. Now, imagine a world dominated by mammoths, saber-toothed cats, and towering megafauna. This was the age of the Pleistocene epoch, better known as the Ice Age, a time when nature had turned up the dial on gigantism. Among these giants, Paleoloxodon roamed the open plains and sparse woodlands of what we now know as India and parts of Asia. Its habitat included mainly grasslands interspersed with trees, providing the perfect balance of grazing and browsing opportunities for a creature of its immense size. These environments were teeming with life. Herds of giant deer, packs of dire wolves, and apex predators like cave lions. Yet, despite the competition, Paleoloxodon reigned supreme as one of the most imposing animals of its time. The climate during the Pleistocene played a huge role in shaping its world. Ice sheets covered much of the Northern Hemisphere, meaning the Paleoloxodon experienced cooler but more stable conditions. Seasonal monsoons likely dictated the availability of water and food, influencing the migration patterns of these enormous elephants. Beyond the frosty landscapes, the Ice Age was actually a period of dramatic environmental shifts, including volcanic activity, changing sea levels, and the gradual encroachment of humans into the landscape. These factors would eventually seal the fate of many megafaunal species of that time. Humans were relatively new players in this ecosystem, but were very resourceful and rapidly adapting. Archaeological evidence suggests that early humans might have encountered Paleoloxodon, and while direct interactions are still debated, it's clear that human expansion contributed to the pressure on these giant herbivores. As we spread across the globe, competing for resources and altering landscapes, the delicate balance that sustained creatures like Paleoloxodon began to collapse. It's fascinating to think that these immense elephants, seemingly invincible in their prime, could have been brought down not only by drastic climate changes, but also by the resourcefulness of a much smaller competitor. The staggering size of Paleoloxodon nomadicus has long been a hot topic among paleontologists. For example, the leg bone of this species is amongst the sturdiest bones seen throughout any mammal in history. 
The femur is 30% thicker than that of modern African elephants and comparable in strength to the bones of massive dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus rex and similar in size to the robust leg bones of a much larger theropod, the Giganotosaurus. When compared to other contenders such as the Paraceratherium, a colossal hornless rhinoceros that lived millions of years earlier, Paleoloxodon nomadicus emerges as a likely winner in terms of sheer mass. While Paraceratherium stood taller at the shoulder, its estimated weight maxes out at around 15 to 20 tons, falling short against our elephant in bulk, signifying that these two giants took two different evolutionary paths, where the Paraceratherium was built for height, likely feeding on treetop vegetation, while Paleoloxodon evolved for mass, dominating both open plains and dense forests with its immense size and power. Unfortunately, this makes studying extinct megafauna like this giant elephant difficult. Fossil evidence is often incomplete, scattered or damaged, making it difficult to reconstruct a complete picture of the animal's size and appearance. However, Paleoloxodon nomadicus stands out due to the exceptional quality and scale of its remains, giving us a clearer picture of the giant that once roamed Earth. Furthermore, What's even more impressive is how Paleoloxodon evolved to thrive under very different conditions from dinosaurs. Dinosaurs like T. rex lived in the Mesozoic, an era when evolutionary pressures favored enormous land predators and herbivores due to abundant vegetation and stable climates. Mammals, on the other hand, had to face colder, more fluctuating conditions during the Cenozoic, leading them to develop thick bodies, efficient metabolisms, and large sizes to conserve heat and dominate their ecosystems. No Ice Age predator, not even packs of dire wolves or saber-toothed cats, could hope to take down such a colossal beast. Despite having all these tools to survive, this species ultimately went extinct due to a variety of factors, some well understood while others remain shrouded in mystery. A major factor contributing to their extinction was the rapidly changing climate of the Pleistocene epoch. This era was marked by extreme fluctuations between ice ages and interglacial warming, which disrupted ecosystems and altered vegetation patterns. For a giant that needed enormous amounts of food daily, these environmental changes likely made it increasingly difficult to find sufficient resources to support its massive body. But the climate wasn't acting alone, there was also the issue of competition. While Paleoloxodon was unmatched in size, it wasn't the only herbivore. Where smaller, more adaptable species may have been better equipped to cope with the rapidly changing environment, gradually outcompeting their larger counterparts for the scarce resources in the landscape. In this battle for survival, being the biggest wasn't always an advantage, it sometimes just made you a bigger target for extinction. And to make things even worse, during the Ice Age, humans had already become skilled hunters and had begun to spread across the globe. Evidence suggests that early humans hunted elephants and other megafauna, not just for food, but also for materials like bones and hides. There's no direct proof of humans hunting Paleoloxodon nomadicus specifically. The fate of its relatives and contemporaries strongly suggests that human activity had an impact. Additionally, humans altered landscapes through activities like burning vegetation, further reducing the available habitat for such massive herbivores. Ultimately, Paleoloxodon nomadicus represents the end of an era when giants ruled the land. While maybe long gone, their legacy lives on in today's elephants, their noble modern day relatives. If you stayed till this part of the video, let us know in the comments, what do you think would happen if this prehistoric beast roamed among us today?